Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Evans Mills, New York with the Matthew the Misfit Village Idiot or whatever the hell you want to call him. Or shall we call him soon to be incarcerated Matthew the Misfit Jailbird? That's right, and he was talking about it on his live stream. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy this guy's last days of freedom for quite a while. Your, your show, you know, I don't, I don't watch a lot because I'm not really the political type, so. I pretty much only go watch when someone tells me my name was mentioned. <laughs> you know, or, or chime in for about five minutes on how did court go the other day. One and a half to three, Robert. I pled guilty to attempted assault third and attempted criminal possession of a weapon, which dropped my two E felonies to D felonies, nonviolent. Well, for anybody that's new around here, this idiot right here decided that he should use a hockey stick for something that wasn't its intended purpose and ended up getting charged with the felony. And this all started because he was filming uh, people at a bar, and when they didn't like it, he started filming their children, and when they further didn't like it, he invited them to his house to come confront him, and then he ended up using the hockey stick. So, go figure, dude. When you start to piss off an entire town and invite him to your house to come deal with you, uh, yeah, things are gonna happen. We warned you over and over again that uh, this kind of thing would uh, will come back and bite you in the ass and now look at you it absolutely did uh one and a half to three i'm going on august august 21st i go back to court is it uh is it the best outcome that could have happened no, not by a long shot. Is it the worst? No, not by a long shot. So I felt it was it was fair. Fair enough, you know. I bet you anything that this is the reaction that uh, everybody had towards you when they found out that you were about to be put behind bars for uh, one and a half to three years. And then I'm sure they'll all get together and have a huge party in your honor, celebrating the fact that you're going to be gone and they don't have to put up with your BS for at least a year and a half, maybe three years. And to tell you the truth, I don't blame them if they have massive parties. Yeah, Robert, um, I'm not sure exactly how it works. So um, I know you get, you know, you, you have a regular, like, good time. And then, I like, guess, once you sign up for programs, like if I were to go take my, my GD, I already have my GD. Uh, I am going to try to see if they have, like, a, a refresher course, something maybe. I, I need to, like, brush up on some English. You know, I didn't really make it into, you know, if we're going to be honest, I didn't really make it into high school, so I didn't exactly learn that high school English grammar shit, you know. <laughs> Uh, dude, I don't think grammar is your biggest issue. I think uh, your social awareness is your uh, biggest flaw because you went and terrorized that entire town without realizing that you were pissing everybody off and you kept on blaming them for it. Uh, so, yeah, English, English grammar is not exactly the uh, issue here. People mess with me all the time about errors and stuff and blah, whatever. Maybe we can do something about that. But yeah, I don't know. You know, you get you get programs like I know they have some, certain prisons have like welding certificates and blah and whatnot. So my lawyer, Robert, my lawyer said that she thinks about nine, eight months. 
which I don't get because the, uh, the minimum is one and a half. But, you know, if I do eight months, that means I did a year with good time. Because I believe that's like one third of the time you do. That's the way it always was, you know, growing up or whatever. And yeah, like many of these fraudsters, this guy was definitely a juvenile offender. And he uh, is no stranger to how the law works. So, yeah, he has experience in that field. County and stuff. So for every, like, three weeks you do, you get a, a week free. Or a week of good time, you know. Uh, so I could see maybe where the eight months might come into play, I guess, if I add a program. If I add a program that reduces more time, then the eight months seems, to me, seems, uh, you know, whatever. But I just spoke to a buddy that did just did five years, and he said I'll do two. Now my question to you is, uh, what's going to happen with your girlfriend whenever you go into the slammer? Because, well, I happen to know one guy, my former roommate, who would just love to, uh, Break up your uh, union. Because he once told me that he loves being the Jody. And that one of his uh, philosophies in life is if you can't be with the one you love, then love the one you're with. Yeah, my former roommate has a different set of morals than I do. Uh, yeah, I would... <sighs> I, which is why I try to stay away, away from him since the uh, house burned down uh, a couple months ago. I haven't had any contact with him, but uh, I can uh, call him up and uh, let him know that you're uh, about to go into prison. He'll keep your uh, woman company. No, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't send him over there. I mean, there's plenty of men up there that still would want to take advantage of that situation. So, he would need to uh, travel all the way from Florida to New York to get that when he could get, get, get that down here. But still, there, I'm sure there are men up there uh, in New York State that uh, would have the same philosophy of... Being the Jody, the one who loves to break up marriages and other unions. But uh, I don't condone any of that uh, for the last time. I am not that kind of person, but there are people that are th like that out there. So at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.